Hey everyone, my name is Shagun and you're watching Twistic Boys. Today we are going to learn how to make Instagram pop tags using Adobe After Effects. I'm using Adobe After Effects CC 2014 and you can also use the new year version, you can also use the previous versions. It is not going to affect a really, you know, in a large manner because it is really easy. All we are going to do is just create a little bit of shape layer and this is this effect is a little bit easy to create in adobe premiere pro but adobe after effects is fine if you would search on youtube you'll find thousands of tutorials for premiere pro but for after effects there are you know not so much oh my god this is just a discard notification quit discard all right justin odisha created a tutorial on how to create instagram pop tags using Adobe Premiere Pro and he's a Premiere Pro master anyways without wasting time let's start alright so here we have this guy and we're going to create Instagram pop tags on his you know chest so what we are going to do is first of all we're going to have a text layer and now we're going to type username alright so username now I'm going to use a font called Roberto you can download it from the link in the description and 46 pixels is fine to me and this is our text layer all right now what we're going to do is wait a second make it half so that it looks a little bit clear you know all right so now what we're going to do is go to layer click on new oh and now click on shape layer now what you're going to do is using rectangle tool create a rectangle over it now you can see that it you know it came over to our text layer so what we're going to do is drag the shape layer under the username and right here you can see that it came just above it and we can see it now username and shape layer are good now if you see instagram pop tags then there's a little bit of diamond let me zoom in all right so here you can see there's a little bit of diamond so what we're going to do is create another shape layer and now we're going to create a small rectangle now using your move tool what you're going to do is just rotate it like this and drag it down now you can see that it is just overlaying so what we're going to do is take our um, diamond layer and make sure it is just below the first layer and now if you move it towards the downside you can see that we have a diamond it is not you know we can see we can see a little bit of corner which is coming but since I'm doing it for a little bit you know faster doing it for tutorial purpose take your time all right this is fine now you can see the colors instagram tag color is a little bit you know grayish so what we're going to do is go choose a shape layer go to fill and now choose a pure color you can choose any color a little bit of grayish will be fine and i'm going to copy the color code click on ok choose the shape layer too Go to fill and type the same color code okay now if you see we have a little bit you know a little this is a little bit rough the diamond is not looking so great so what you have to do is i'm just going to create another diamond because this is not looking good so take your own time and i'm going to you know adjust it a little bit so i'm going to pause the video all right, so I have created that diamond again, and now we have a little bit, you know, Instagram tag ready. Now what we're going to do is choose the shape layer and then press O. And we're going to reach to N. So now what next is we're going to, you know, I'll drag the opacity of these two because this is you know they are a little bit visible 
so I'm going to set it to almost 80 percentages all right and now go to transform of the second one and then choose the 80 so now if you zoom in then you have you know they're a little bit visible you can see there is a little bit of visibility and that's all we want anyways now we have, what we are going to do is animate them so animate is the next step all right so to animate what we are going to do is choose the username in both of and both of the shape layers and now go to you know transform and then choose the position okay make sure to add a keyframe now what we're going to do is let us suppose we move to one second and we are going to choose the position you know we are going to move it a little bit okay this much is fine and at the second second I mean at zero two seconds let us move it again a little bit and at the fifth second let us move it down so that it disappears all right so now we have you know successfully animated and let us see how it looks all right so now if you preview it you can see how it looks let me reduce my preview all right you can see it is just going down and we have successfully created Instagram pop tag like Jake Paul how he does in his videos and I know I did it a little bit roughly since I'm doing it for tutorial and take your time to create a good amount of you know animation do a good amount of anim animation and also try to create good good shape of rectangle because it has to be so you know actual it looks it should look like the actual Instagram tag I hope you learned something from today and if you did then press press that like icon and also make sure to check out my other videos you'll love them let me show you my, some of the other videos so here are some other videos and I also have a Lightroom tutorial I, I have two Lightroom tutorial you can learn to use Sony Vegas Pro and I also have a new video called should you continue YouTube after YouTube partner program three mistakes that new youtubers make and some other good videos also so I hope you like them and make sure to check them out once again thanks for watching make sure to subscribe